Hello everyone, we already know the carbon has the unique ability to form bonds with other atoms of carbon giving rise to large molecules and this property is called catenation. So let us see how to arrive at the structures of simple carbon compounds. Because of catenation, carbon can form unimaginable number of compounds. Imagine one carbon atom can form four covalent bond with four hydrogen atoms and the compound formed is called methane. So this is the structural formula or the structure of methane. Now you may ask what is the difference between the molecular formula and the structural formula? Well the molecular formula tells what atoms and the number of atoms. Thus, the molecular formula of methane is CH4 telling us that it contains one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms whereas the structure or the structural formula tells how they are bonded together. So here we see carbon shares four single covalent bonds, one with each of the four hydrogen atoms. Now, how do we arrive at the structural formula or the structure for different carbon compounds? Let us see. Here, two carbon atoms are joined with single covalent bond indicated by a single line between the two carbon atoms. Now, three valency of each carbon atom remains unsatisfied. So, each carbon atom can bond with three hydrogen atoms to achieve eight valence electrons, right? Thus, each carbon atom forms three single covalent bonds with the three hydrogen atoms. And thus, we get the structural formula for ethane which has a molecular formula of C2H6. Now, four carbon atoms can form a chain and each carbon atom can form covalent bond with hydrogen to gain whatever number of electrons are needed to achieve eight valence electrons. Basically, the two center carbon atoms need two electrons and the two carbon atoms at the left and the right end of the chain need three electrons to achieve eight valence electrons. Thus we get C4H10 which is called butane. Basically if you see it's a chain of CH3, CH2, CH2 and CH3. Now eight carbon atoms can form a chain. Here each carbon atom can form covalent bond with hydrogen to gain whatever electrons are needed to achieve 8 valence electrons. And thus we get C8H18 which is octane. So we see 1 carbon atom, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. The chain of carbon can be very long and thus Carbon can make so many compounds with hydrogen alone. These are called hydrocarbons. But till now we were only talking about carbon linked with each other with single covalent bond only. Such compounds are called saturated carbon compound. Now a carbon atom can link with another carbon atom with double or triple bond also. If such bond occurs in a carbon compound, it is called an unsaturated carbon compound. So here we see an unsaturated carbon compound which is called ethene. So can you now imagine the possibilities? So remember compounds of carbon having single bonds between the carbon atoms are known as saturated carbon compounds. 
like ethane or methane and saturated compounds are normally not very reactive whereas compounds of carbon having double or triple bonds between the carbon atoms are known as unsaturated carbon compounds for example ethene generally unsaturated carbon compounds are very reactive having a double bond between the two carbon atoms so varying chain length sometimes open sometimes closed then single bond or double bond or triple bond thus carbon can form unimaginable number of compounds and many have same non carbon compound or groups attached to different carbon chains these compounds were initially extracted from natural substances and it was thought that a vital force was necessary to form these compounds hence they are formed in living system thus those carbon compounds got the name organic compounds carbon compounds except for oxides of carbon carbonate and hydrogen carbonate salts continue to be known as organic compounds but you me trees our clothes food every living thing and most of the things we obtain from living things are made of organic compounds so can you imagine how important carbon is we will learn more about its compound in the next lesson until then bye bye